One, the lighthouse stood resolute against the relentless onslaught of the sea, its whitewashed walls weathered and worn, a cryptic symbol of endurance amidst nature's fury. Samuel Rook, the young keeper, had sought this place of isolation, hoping the solitude would drown out the echoes of his past. The pounding waves crashed against the rocks below like a heartbeat, steady and merciless, while the screeching of seagulls filled the air with a bitter melody. Samuel had not always been a lighthouse keeper. Once he was a son, a brother, a man filled with dreams. But those dreams were buried beneath the weight of tragedy and guilt, and he had taken on this solitary job as a form of penance. It had begun on a stormy night, one that mirrored the chaos of his memories. He had been out with his friends, laughing and drinking, their voices mingling with the tumult of the wind and rain. They were invincible, or so they thought, until the night turned dark in more ways than one. Come on, Sam, let's take the boat out, his friend Mark had yelled, eyes gleaming with reckless abandon. What's the worst that could happen? The words echoed in his mind, a taunt that never ceased. The worst had indeed happened. As they navigated the churning waters, the storm descended upon them with a ferocity that took them by surprise. The boat capsized, throwing them into the icy embrace of the Atlantic. Samuel had fought to stay afloat, but his friends hadn't been so fortunate. Their screams still haunted him, guttural, desperate cries that twisted in his gut like barbed wire. He had made it back to shore, but the weight of their loss hung over him like a shroud, an anchor dragging him deeper into despair. He became a ghost in his own life, drifting through days and nights, shunned by friends and family who whispered of his cowardice. The guilt became his constant companion, gnawing at him, a living thing that would not let go. So when the opportunity arose to take the position of lighthouse keeper on a desolate island, he seized it. The isolation promised a sanctuary, a chance to escape the cacophony of his memories, but the solitude came at a cost, and the island was alive with its own horrors. The foghorn blared through the night, a mournful wail that resonated deep within him, reminding him of the fog of his past, a fog he could never seem to escape. The briny salt air stung his nostrils, a constant reminder of the ocean that had stolen his friends from him. The waves crashed against the rocks, an endless rhythm of violence that echoed his restless soul. As he trudged up the spiral staircase of the lighthouse, the heavy door creaked open, revealing the lantern room bathed in a ghostly glow. He lit the flame, watching as it flickered to life, casting dancing shadows on the walls. But there was no comfort here. The darkness was alive and it whispered to him. Help us, it seemed to say, a haunting refrain that clawed at the corners of his mind. Leave me alone! He shouted, the desperation in his voice swallowed by the wind. The shadows danced, mocking him, and the cries of the drowned surged in his ears, a relentless tide of anguish. Each night as he lit the lantern, the whispers grew louder, more insistent. They were the voices of his friends, lost to the depths, forever calling out for salvation. Help us! Help us! They cried, their tones filled with betrayal and despair. He stumbled back clutching his head, desperate to silence the chaos that threatened to consume him. But the island had a way of burrowing deep into one psyche, stripping away the layers of sanity until only the raw nerve of fear remained. One fateful evening as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the world into a sea of shadows, Samuel found himself standing at the edge of the cliff, the waves crashing violently below. The fog rolled in thick, wrapping around him like a lover's embrace, and for a brief moment, he felt at peace, until he heard them again. Join us, they whispered, a chorus of voices rising from the depths. The temptation surged within him, a longing to escape the guilt and pain that had become his existence. He closed his eyes, picturing their faces, the laughter that once filled their lives, now silenced by the unforgiving sea. I'm sorry he breathed, the words barely escaping his lips, drowned out by the roar of the waves. Two. Days turned into weeks, and Samuel's isolation deepened. The lighthouse became a prison of his own making, the walls closing in as the echoes of his past grew louder. 
He avoided the townsfolk whenever their boats ventured close to the island. Their curious glances and whispered conversations, too much for him to bear. They spoke of him as a ghost, a man haunted by his choices, lost to the depths of despair. The continuous screeching of seagulls became a maddening soundtrack, their cries a reminder of the life he had forsaken. Each morning, he would wander the rocky shore, the briny air filling his lungs, yet it did nothing to cleanse the bitterness that had taken root in his soul. What do you want from me? He shouted at the gulls one afternoon, their beady eyes watching him with a knowing gaze. I've paid my dues. But they only screeched louder, the sound piercing through him like shards of glass. They were mocking him, reminding him that escape was impossible. The lighthouse had become a vessel for his guilt, a beacon for the lost souls seeking vengeance. On one particularly stormy night, the wind howled like a tortured spirit, battering against the lighthouse with a cruel intensity. Samuel lit the lantern with trembling hands, the flame flickering as if sensing his turmoil. The foghorn wailed, a mournful cry that resonated in his bones, and the air thickened with an unnatural tension. It was then that he saw her, a figure standing just beyond the water's edge cloaked in the mist. Her hair whipped around her face as she reached out, fingers stretching toward him, beckoning him closer. Help us, she whispered, her voice ethereal and filled with despair. His heart raced as he fought against the urge to approach her. Who are you? He called, the wind stealing his words. Join us, she replied, her eyes glinting with a strange light. We are waiting. The realization struck him like a thunderclap. This was no ordinary woman. She was a specter of the sea, one of the lost souls that had perished in the depths. The faces of his friends flickered in his mind, their expressions twisted in anguish. I can't, he screamed, his voice cracking under the weight of his despair. The figure dissolved into the fog, and the whispers grew louder, swirling around him like a tempest. Help us! Help us! They cried, a relentless tide of agony that surged through him. Samuel staggered back, the weight of their sorrow crashing down like the waves against the rocks. The lighthouse, once a sanctuary, now felt like a tomb, filled with the echoes of the damned. He stumbled toward the edge of the cliff, the wind howling in protest, and for a brief moment, he considered surrendering to the depths below. Join us, the voices beckoned a siren song that promised release from the torment that had become his existence. But as he stood there, the memory of their laughter flashed before him, a stark contrast to the deathly silence that surrounded him now. He could hear their voices, but they weren't calling for him to join them. They were crying out for help, seeking the salvation he had denied them. Three, the nights blurred together as Samuel descended into madness, the isolation morphing into a living nightmare. Each time he lit the lantern, the shadows danced, and the whispers grew into a cacophony of despair. The briny salt air filled his lungs with the taste of bitterness, and he became a prisoner of his own mind tormented by visions of those he had lost. One fateful evening as a storm raged outside, he stood at the lantern room's window, gazing out at the turbulent sea. The waves crashed violently against the rocks, the sound echoing like a funeral dirge, and the foghorn wailed, a haunting cry that pierced through the howling wind. Help us, they screamed, their voices rising above the chaos. Who are you? He shouted into the darkness, desperation clawing at him. What do you want from me? Join us, the voices echoed, a chorus of the damned that reverberated in his chest. He felt a tugging at his heart, a longing to surrender to the abyss, to let go of the pain that had become his existence. The thought was intoxicating, a siren's call promising peace amidst the chaos. But as he stared into the depths, he saw their faces, haunted, twisted in agony and he knew they couldn't find peace without him. With a sudden clarity, he turned away from the edge, the realization crashing over him like the waves below. He could no longer run from his guilt. He had to confront it. 
the lighthouse was not only a beacon for lost souls, it was also a prison for his own tormented spirit. Samuel stumbled back to the lantern, the flame flickering as if sensing his resolve. The whispers grew louder, more insistent, but he fought against them, determined to reclaim his life. I will not join you, he shouted, his voice rising above the storm. But the shadows pressed closer, wrapping around him like a vice, their cries rising to a fever pitch. Help us! Help us! They wailed, clawing at the edges of his sanity. As the storm reached its crescendo, Samuel stood firm, the weight of their anguish pressing upon him like a leaden shroud. The lighthouse trembled, a living entity caught in the throes of despair. And in that moment, he understood the truth. The only way to save them was to confront the darkness within himself. He had to forgive himself for the past, to release the guilt that had shackled him for so long. As the wind howled and the waves crashed against the rocks, he closed his eyes and let the memories wash over him. I'm sorry, he whispered into the storm, tears streaming down his cheeks. I'm so, so sorry. The whispers shifted, transforming from cries of despair to soft sighs of relief. And for the first time, Samuel felt a flicker of hope amidst the darkness. The weight of the past began to lift. The shadows retreating as he embraced the truth of his own humanity. The storm raged on, the lighthouse standing tall amidst the chaos. But Samuel no longer felt alone. The voices of the lost faded into the wind, replaced by a sense of peace he had thought unattainable. But as the dawn broke through the fog, illuminating the lighthouse, Samuel made a fateful decision. He would stay, not as a prisoner of his past, but as a keeper of their memories, forever guarding the light that guided lost souls home. And so the lighthouse continued to shine against the backdrop of the raging sea, a beacon of hope amidst the darkness, where Samuel would remain, forever haunted, yet finally free. In the end, the waves crashed against the rocks, the wind howled, and the cries of the lost echoed in the distance. But Samuel knew he would never be truly alone again. He had embraced the pain, and in doing so, he found a twisted sense of redemption. And as the fog rolled in, heavy and suffocating, he felt the weight of their sorrow pressing against him, a reminder that some wounds never truly heal, and the darkness can always return. <laughs>